Watch you guys, now if you've got a computer, I'm pretty sure that one time in your life you've come across an issue with Java. Now I'm going to make a video on showing you how to remove Java and install it properly. Now there's a few different ways of going about this, so I'll show you probably two different ways of fixing a lot of Java issues. Now, there's a guy called Dave Wood on my fan page that says he's had an issue where he can't update Java. And it's also very important to keep Java updated if you've got it installed because most people don't and this is how you get infected. There's a lot of uh, malware exploits out there like Zero Day that will take advantage of that and infect your system. So let's go ahead and show you how to remove uh, Java from the system properly and uh, install it. Now you may be saying to yourself why don't I just go to control panel and add and remove programs and remove it from here. Well you can't really remove it from here uh, because it leaves a load of parts behind and if it's corrupted what's going to happen is it's going to actually um, install those back on the system. So let's go ahead and remove this. I'll show you how to do it. We're going to be using Revo Uninstaller uh, for this one and also I'll show you another way using uh, JavaRAR afterwards. So Revo Uninstaller is going to uh, allow us to remove everything from the system and then also then reinstall it. So let's go ahead and start up a Revo Uninstaller. I've already downloaded mine. I'm going to run this as administrator. So this is our Revo Uninstaller. So you can see here I've got Java. I'm going to uninstall this. What it's going to do, it wants to create a restore point. It's done that. It's going to analyze everything here. I'm going to say yes to this. Okay, starting to uninstall it now. going to go on to advanced here for scanning modes. Now you can see it's starting to show up a load of uh, registry keys that are left behind okay. So what we want to do is remove these from the system so you can come up to the top here and put a tick in these and remove these from the system. These are all Java related so I'm going to actually remove these by clicking on delete and deleted them from the system. Can now close this off. Okay, so another thing we can do, we can have a look at search everything. So search everything you can get from this website here. You can void tools, you can download it for free. And what this does is just make sure that everything is off the system. So all you need to do here is open up search everything, I'm going to right click and run this as administrator open this up and it'll be just a box here like this so I'm going to type in here Java and anything with Java in it you'll see come up here now these are the bits that have been left behind so we could actually delete these from the system so I'm going to quickly delete these from the system so what I need to do here is highlight these Java take that Java R out leave that there I'm going to delete these because if you've got issues with your system then you need to make sure that you're removing all the remnants of Java from the system so you can see we've got temp files here prefetch and delete those now some of these aren't really important they're just like uh, text files but I still want to remove them from the system and this is a great way of tidying up and removing stuff that's left behind from there Okay, I can see something here. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that we've got most of it there. There's one there that I can see. Okay, so that's that part done here now. We've cleaned off all that. Now you can use other words like Oracle and other things like that, but you've got to be very careful if you're using programs that have got uh, Oracle inc incorporated in them, like uh, VirtualBox and stuff like that because that is the same company okay so you've got to be very careful so stick with certain words that you're searching for that are relevant to what you're doing okay so once you've done that you want to go to the internet and you want to do this scan here this is going to fix problems with programs that can't be installed or uninstalled okay so what you want to do here is run this save this here I'm going to run this 
we're just going to let this run. Uh, detect problems and apply the fixes. Now if you can't install or uninstall okay then this is the area you want to check because there may be a problem with Windows itself and it's not Java uh, related so if it was installing you would click on installing and if it was uninstalling you would click on uninstalling okay depending on what it is okay so then once you've done that you can get solutions online and have a look here and it will take you for more solutions so that's basically how you use this tool you go through and uh, check whether it's the uninstall or install issues that you may be having it will try to fix those for you okay so now we've removed everything from our system what we need to do is now install now the best way to go about that is go to the actual site here and download an offline installation just in case you've got issues that way so I'm going to download this so now we've got this downloaded what I'm going to do is install this on the system and let this install and hopefully you should be up and running now you should be able to install that's that installed there okay so let's have a look at the archive center here which we can actually get all our downloads from so there is a download archive it, now it's not advisable to roll back to an older version but if that's what you need to do to get it all going to get it on the system so you can up, update it then try that method but these are the actual archives for the older versions okay now if you've got another operating system ie Linux or Mac or something like that and you're having issues then you want to go to this page which will be the uh, page for all the other versions like Linux, Mac, uh, Solaris and whatnot. Okay, there's also another useful part here which is an online uh, update which will allow you to download the online update and there's also an offline update is what you, what you see me install advise you to do is do the offline update it's a lot more easier okay to, to it to work okay because there may be a problem connecting to their server so that's how you go about doing that so let's have a look at one more program which is called Java Ra. okay so you should be pretty much up and running there but I just wanted to show you another method which you could try which is called uh, Java Ra. it's a free tool and what this is going to do is allow you to remove uh, Java from the system then it will remove all the remnants that are left behind then download the latest version and then install that all in one program so let's give this a go anyway so I've got this downloaded on my desktop here I'm going to right click and run this as administrator now as you can see here uh, we've got update Java runtime also we've got the remove Java runtime you can also update Java R definitions and also additional tasks so if you come in here and put ticks in these it will check for the latest version of uh, Java it will also clean the JRE temp files which is also very useful for uh, zero day uh, stuff like that uh, malware we've also got create a log file here and we can also change our language okay and automatically update we've got support and about Java R page here which you can go to um, you can see here use the uh, just check.exe tool or you can put perform an online version check which is if you do this it's going to check what version you've got installed okay and it will take you to the verify part you can run this and this is going to tell you what version uh, of Java you've got installed okay whether you're up to date and this is a very useful way of checking to make sure you got the latest versions okay so let's uh, go back and remove it from here so we can go remove select the actual one we want to uninstall run installer uninstaller say yes I'm just going to try to do that again okay now it goes to the step by well, step one out of the way you need to go to step two which is remove uh, all the other stuff that's on the system then we're going to go next 
going to download the latest version or you can manually go to the page here and download the latest version for the offline update that's what I'd advise you to do to get the very latest version if you wish or you can click on the download here and it will download the version for you now whether this is going to be the latest one I don't know but we'll give it a try As you can see, it's just pulling it off the server and actually downloading that and installing it. We've successfully installed. Okay, and go next. And we can exit out of this. Okay, we've got one more thing now. All we need to do now is test our Java to make sure it's working okay. And we can do that by going to this web page here. It's actually Java. And you'll want to download a little amplet here. We're just going to run that. And it will say Java is now working fine. And we have got the latest version updated. And as you can see, it will tell us what version it is. It's 32 bit. So that's basically how you test that and make sure it's working OK. So now we're all up and running. We managed to get that installed. So that's how you fix a lot of issues with uh, Java bit long-winded but I just wanted to cover every part of that and how to go about uh, removing it and installing it properly and that's basically all the sites I'll put all these links in the description for you and hopefully that helps you out Dave and you get you back up and running so anyway I think that's about it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again guys and thanks for your support Bye for now.